Hey you guys, it's your girl Lady T and I have a pound cake recipe I want to share with you guys. Welcome back if you're not, um, if you're new, welcome. How you doing? And let's get into it. I got three cups of flour. I use the swans down. I have three sticks of uh, butter, no salt in it, five eggs, three cups of sugar, one cup of milk, a half a te te teaspoon of baking powder, and a fourth teaspoon of salt. I have um, vanilla extract, the vanilla bean, and cake batter and um, let's get started all my ingredients are room temperature the eggs the milk and the butter so the first thing I'm going to do is whip this butter up a little bit I'll be right back and show you so I just whip it about 30 seconds and then I add um, my extracts now because I'll forget so I put in um, the vanilla bean it's vanilla bean paste so it is thicker Sorry about the shadow, y'all. Cake batter. And I'm also going to blend this for like 10 seconds. This is what it looks like after just like 10 seconds. Remember to scrape your bowl. You can set your uh, oven for 350 preheated. So now, I'm going to add my uh, sugar, and this is uh, the three cups of sugar, and I do set this on a timer. I beat it uh, from anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes, um, kind of, sort of important. So I'll be right back after I blend that. So after 12 minutes, you should have white and fluffy. It should turn a little translucent. Make sure you're scraping the bowl so all the sugar and butter is mixed together. And then you're ready to add your eggs. Now I'm gonna do this off camera, but I add my eggs one at a time and blend them just, just for a couple of seconds, two, three seconds. And then uh, I'll be back. Sorry about the lighting, you guys. It sucks in my kitchen, but this is the eggs beat in. So now I add uh, my salt and my um, my salt, my uh, baking powder, and my flour mixture, and my milk. And what I do is I add a little bit of dry and blend that then add some milk, blend that until the uh, flour and milk is done. I'll be right back. So the last little bit of flour, you guys, I like to do it with the whisk so it's not over beaten. I have my cake pan, sorry, which is already sprayed. I like to use the spray so it could get on the, the little uh, tip part, but you can use butter and flour, whatever you use. So try to smooth it out <clears throat> as much as you can. I pull away 
from the uh, the little sides around here so it doesn't stick. Cook this at 350 for one hour and 15 minutes. And we'll be back. Another thing, guys, these recipes, you can make all your own. If you don't like the extracts I use, put your own in. Make it a lemon pound cake. Do what you want to do with it, but hit me down below in the comments and let me know if you made it, how it turned out for you, if you liked it, and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. We'll be back when the cake is done. And so this is what you should look like after an hour and 15 minutes. And let it cool for 10 to 15, at least 10 minutes, but about 15 before you take it out the pan. And we'll come on back. So it's cooled enough now where we can flip it. So let's flip it over. And as you can see, it's still, <laughs> it's still cooling. So let that cool another 20, 25 minutes before you put any icing on it. You can put ganache on it, or you can leave it just like this and eat it. Anyway, it is delicious. Make it for Christmas or even New Year's or any day. So I hope you enjoy it. This is Lady T's recipe for a pound cake. Happy Vlogmas and enjoy your holidays.